animals give you a better response when you speak their language. Provided you brought the right calls, that is. A real hunter is always prepared. Mhumbi, the side-striped jackal, sticks to the woods and the scrub, scavenging from other predators or negligent campers, unless fruit is in season. When there's fruit, that's all Mhumbi eats. Consider them gentle predators. Wherever you find a water hole, Ngalavenova, that's our friend the warthog, won't be far. Without lions to hunt them, warthog heads around here are getting crowded. That puts a lot of strain on the water supply in a reserve where water is not always abundant. When you were still tiny, I gave you my favorite binoculars to practice spotting animals. Not one hour later, you broke them. Ha! Ah, now you can finally repay me. You know how to use a gun, right? Take a breath, point, and shoot. Boom. Blood, telltale sign of a wounded animal, or sometimes a man. Hey, you never know out here. I could not ask more of you. That was perfectly executed.
They littered the reserve with traps. The Vusha, the eastern land, was hit hardest. My crew helped the police push these poachers out of the Vusha, but they left so many traps behind, no matter how many we've cleared, we keep finding more. A junior guide spotted a few of these traps not far from where you started. Could you kindly clear them out? There you go, saving the savanna, one good deed at a time. Another good deed. It is advantageous to conceal your body odor out here. Our animals know a sweaty human when they smell one. With so many good deeds, the animals are going to like you. I can tell. That's just a taste of the warden's work here in the Vusha. There are other regions to explore. But if you want to stay here, make yourself useful. Check your mission log for assignments. The problems facing this reserve go beyond poachers and aging wardens. There are bad spirits, iloko, bringing mischief and misfortune. They only come because our ancestors are so angry with the state of this place. We need to make an effort to appease them. Here's my wishing tree. Of course, this is the first place I came to celebrate when I heard you were coming back to Africa. I played the drum and sang to praise the ancestors. Then I put something special inside the tree. It's there, waiting for you. Take it. These lookout stations are posted throughout Vahonga. Use them to map out landmarks, spot heads, or just relax and enjoy the beautiful savanna view. But don't relax too much. You've got work to do. The savanna here in Vusha is the heart and soul of the reserve. This grassland sustains a cross-section of plants and wildlife, from the smallest birds to the harems of the pronking springbok. 
or at least the grassland used to sustain them. When the lions left Wuhonga, the springboks celebrated. No more lions to prey on them. But they celebrated too much, understand? Now there are so many springbok, we may have to rename this area Springbok City. I kid, but the problem is real. The savannah can't sustain Springbok City. Fewer plants will thrive, the topsoil will erode, birds that nest in the vanishing shrubs will flee. And if we don't get relief from this drought, the smaller animals competing for grazing areas will die. In the absence of their natural predator, you will be the lion who hunts the springbok. And like any fierce predator, you must begin by studying your prey. On that, your codex has plenty of helpful information. But in Africa, the world is your classroom. Why only read about springbok when you can see them for yourself? Find a male and a female, one of each, and spot them. Observe them.
Thank <laughs> you.